Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. The Father wants me to explain to you what 22 means biblically because there's a lot of people who are saying 22 means um, that it means energy, intuition, emotions, balance, diplomacy, harmony, ability, redemption. It means none of those things. It's not a good number at all. Like, 22 was also the lucky number of Haitian voodoo, all right? Um, that's, it, it's not a good number. I'm going to go to what it means biblically, but a lot of people are saying 22 means something good when 22 does not mean anything good, all right? So we're going to go to what 22 means biblically because when they put 22 spiritually, it says a lot of things that are not right. It says highest spiritual attainment, um, duality, selflessness, relationship, balance, um, double the amount of energy. It, it, it really doesn't mean that. All right. So what it does mean is what it does mean is chaos and disorder. Now, the meaning of the number 22, the number 22, which is double 11 which symbolizes disorder and chaos can mean a consecration of disorganization Jeroboam the first the very first king of of Israel after the United Kingdom split in in two in 1930 BC reigned for 22 official years 21 actual years from 1930 to 1909 BC King Ahab considered the worst Israelite king also reigned for the same length of time 22 official but 21 actual years, 1874 to 853 BC as Jeroboam. King Ammon, who ruled for only two years and is considered one of the worst kings over Judah, began, to, began his rule at the age of 22. The Hebrew alphabet is made up of 22 letters, which are used to compose the word of God. The word of God is called a lamp. You know, it says, be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119 and 105. In Proverbs 6 and 22, it tells you about God's word being a lamp. Thus, it is the light by which we are to live. Christ is the light of the world. All right. Um, the word light is found 264 times in scripture. When 264 is divided by 12, a divine authority, we have 22, which represents light. God created 22 things in six days of creation. These are 22 books in the Eric, Aaronic Levitical Old Testament, which is the light of God for Israel. There are 22 generations from Adam to Jacob. All right. So light is used 22 times in the Gospel of John. The 22nd time John uses the word, he quotes Christ. I have come as a light in the world. See, Christ is the light in the world. John 12 and 46, he says that. Um, it says Christians, but people of God, people who fear God, are to walk in the light of Christ, as John 3 and 21 tells you, and be the light of the world, as in Matthew 5 and 14 to 15. The 22nd book written and included in the New Testament is in chronicle order is the book of the third John. John wrote this book to his friend and fellow elder Jesus. All right. Now, God said 22 revelation. There are um the the 22nd chapter is the last chapter of the book of revelation he wants you to know 22 is revealing what was hid there's nothing hid that shall not be made known all right so we're gonna go to luke 12 and 2 all right this is you can take this up with fasting and praying and don't get deceived with all these people in their 22 22 because 22 is not a good number it means Disorder and chaos. All right. Now, Luke 12 and 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither, neither hid that shall not be made known. So that's what God wants you to know. We are living out the book of Revelation. All right. Revelation. Revelation has... 22 chapters all right 22 chapters all right and you can take this up with fasting and praying you have a blessed day